Hi, Dr. Dave here to look at ticky shots, where you hit a ball off the cushion into another ball, back toward the cushion again, to achieve some desired outcome. And because I'm wearing the Efren shirt from drdavebillyartshirts.com, I don't expect to miss one shot in this entire video. All examples in this video will be from the game of 8-ball, shooting stripes, unless indicated otherwise. A ticky can be used for a billiard shot like this, where I carom the cue ball off the 11 into the 13. You can also ticky an object ball, in this case to kiss the 11 off the 8 into the pocket. To plan and aim ticky shots, it helps to know basic cue ball control principles. With a slow rolling ball, the 30 degree roll natural angle can be used to visualize the ticky direction. Here, I first visualize the approximate shot direction. Then I use my peace sign to make sure the natural angle heads in the desired direction to the 13, which it does. Then I visualize the center of the required ghost ball position. Then I use the mirror system to find the aim point on the rail. If you want to learn more about this stuff, see the links in the video description. Otherwise, you can just practice a lot and aim by feel. Do whatever works best for you. An alternative to using the natural angle with the rolling ball shot is to use stun and aim with the 90 degree roll tangent line. Here, with fast speed, the 11 will slide into the 8 and deflect in the tangent line direction. I first visualize the tangent line kiss direction off the 8 to the pocket. Then I mirror the ghost ball center to find the aim point on the rail. Did you see the 11 and 8 separate at 90 degrees? A ticky can also be used as a breakout shot. Here, I can ticky the cue ball off the 9 to pocket the 11 and break out the 913 cluster. When the first ball is close to a cushion, it is easier to visualize the ticky. Here, I'm using my cue to help visualize the required cue ball direction. The top running spin helps the cue ball hug the rail. A ticky can also be used to play a safety. I left a one rail kick at the five, but that was a good safety. Sometimes a double ticky is called for. Here, the 11 is too close to the cushion to do a single ticky straight to the 13, but a second ticky off the eight gets the job done. When the object ball is close to the cushion, where there isn't room to ticky through the gap, you can use a follow ticky instead. You just need to aim to hit the 11 squarely off the cushion, allowing the topspin to send the cue ball forward. Sometimes the only good option is to kick into a ticky. First, I visualize the estimated cue ball path and check if the natural angle heads in a good direction, so I can roll the cue ball into the ticky. Now I find the required ghost ball position. Here, I am using the midpoint parallel shift two rail kicking system to aim the shot. For more information, see the link in the video description. I first find the midpoint between the ghost ball target and the cue ball, and now I point the cue at the corner and parallel shift to the line of the cue ball. This gives me the required line of aim. Here it is again in slow motion. Let's end with an excerpt from Volume 4 of the Video Encyclopedia of Pool Shots, demonstrating two fancy ticky shots. Here's a good one pocket ticky example. The goal is a triple ticky where we send all three balls toward our pocket. For fun, let's end this section with an almost ridiculously difficult ticky shot. The goal is to ticky off the 5 with a lot of draw to kick a cross table into the 9 for the win. This shot is very difficult and it took Tom many attempts to get this to work. Let's look at it again.
I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope the examples help you add a new arsenal to your game. Again, if you want help with anything mentioned in the video, supporting links are available in the video description. Be sure to practice all the examples so you will have confidence to shoot them if they come up in game situations. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.